Coral reefs are some of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet. 27% of known reefs have been lost and we are at risk of losing 32% within the next 32 years as of 2001. Snorkeling and scuba diving is something that we all love to do and want to continue to do for many years to come. If we do not fix this issue now, our kids will never get the opportunity to explore the ocean the same way we did. My name is Daniel Kenny. One step we can take now is requiring the use of reef safe sunscreen. I will go over the differences between reef safe sunscreen and not reef safe. The destruction caused by chemicals in the sunscreen and the importance of our coral reefs. You should know what you're putting on your skin. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, most common sunscreens contain at least one of the following chemicals. Oxybenzone, octosylate, octocrylene, homosalitate, oxino x If you cannot even pronounce these, then it cannot be safe for your skin, let alone the ocean. Some of the chemicals in reef safe sunscreen are non anti zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. These should be looked for when you're buying your sunscreen. Also, checking that the sunscreen is above 30 SPF and water resistant. This will lead to less wash off in the ocean and your skin will still be protected from the sun. Some reef safe sunscreens you can look for. Our Kakua Sun Care, Raw Love, Think Sport, and Mama Kuilina Waterproof. There are many other brands out there that you can find with a very easy Google. Many are even sold at local stores like Walmart, Target, and many more. Why are these chemical or what are these chemicals doing to the reefs? Consumer report says that 6,000 tons wash on the coral reef globally each year. Much of that being from heavily visited diving, swimming, and snorkeling locations. But don't let that forget about your local beach that you go to. Many non-reef sunscreen products contain a chemical called oxybenzone that you might have heard me mention before. This can seep into the water and be absorbed by the coral, disrupting for reproduction and growth cycles, leading to coral bleaching. The National Ocean Service states coral bleaching is the process of expelling coral algae that normally lives within its tissues that provides up to 90% of the coral's energy. This algae is crucial for coral's health and the reef. Coral can recover, but every time it is bleached, it becomes weaker and weaker. So why do we need the reefs? Coral reefs are very important environment for their ecosystem. Not only do they provide habitats for many marine organisms, they also protect your coastlines from effects of wave action and tropical storms. Coral reefs are also very important to many economies around the world. An article written by Peter Bjorkren states that in Bermuda, coral reefs added the value to tourism accounts for $406 million annually. Half of this being, being from the tourism brought by the cruise ships. Even that being so, this still, this still is a huge amount of revenue to be lost for, by its destruction. For many of these countries, they rely heavily on tourism. And according to an article on the Wiley Online Library, 128 species of fish feed off a live cor coral making it 80% of their diet. Parrotfish, which you may have heard of being one of the most important in the Caribbean reefs. I know everyone wants to help this, this, and this small contribution will go a long way. Coral reefs play such a large role in our ecosystems and we destroy it with, every, with chemicals every time we put on sunscreen and run into water, run into the ocean. We all can help by simply wearing a different type of sunscreen to help protect these reefs. Hopefully you will consider this while preparing for the beach this summer and you will buy a sunscreen that is reef safe. Thank you.